Hey guys, Vincent Rose here with H2G Fitness coming to you from beyond the wheel of my car. Hope everyone's having an incredible night tonight. I just got done putting my son down to sleep, read him a little bedtime story, said prayers with him, and uh, Sandman got some right now. And I am en route, and this is the topic of today's message, uh, to the grocery store. And the reason I felt the need to make a video about this is I think most people nowadays, uh, the way that Americans are accustomed to eating is not good and it's not conducive to fitness and uh, if you ever want to take a mental note from anything that I tell you uh, you can go ahead and jot this one down or jog this one away in the memory you are never going to out train a bad diet period end of report if you're trying to cut weight there is a way to go about doing that by tracking macros and figuring out what your caloric needs are and it's very 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 simple and until you got the food thing in check it's not going to happen. Uh, if you are trying to put on weight and you are trying to, more importantly, put on new gains in terms of muscle growth and uh, get new results in the gym and do it in a manner that you don't, you know, gain too much fat along the process, even though you will gain fat when you gain new muscle. It's just the way it works. But uh, if you're doing that and if you're a hard gainer, if you will, if you're not taking in the right amount of calories and if your macros aren't on check, uh, you're not going to get optimal results. You're not going to out-train a bad diet, period, period, period. So with that being said, the battleground is not the gym. Most people think that it is. It is not. Battleground is not the gym. Uh, you're only in the gym if you're somebody that's like dyed-in-the-wool committed athlete. Two hours a day, maybe. Six days a week. You've got a rest day in there. So if you're committed, you're investing 12 hours a week into the gym. There's 168 hours a week every week. Don't judge me. Uh, so if you're only investing 12 hours into the gym, that leaves you 156 hours a week outside of the gym. What does that mean? All of your gains, all of your growth, all of your results do not happen in the gym. They, help, they happen outside of the gym. If you've ever heard that six-pack abs are made in the kitchen, not in the gym, that is a fact. That is a true statement. So the battleground's not the gym, it is where then? The battleground is the grocery store and the battleground is your kitchen, period. If you have not developed the habit of preparing, weighing, thinking out in advance what your meals are going to be to hit your macros and to hit your calories for the day, you ain't gonna make it. And I have been the frustrated Jose in the gym training for month in, month out, year in, year out, and getting minimal, minimal, minimal results and uh, the only reason was, it wasn't because I wasn't doing the physical work, it was because I had no idea how to eat. And so, don't be the average American, don't be the average Joe that just, you know, eats out all the time and relies on other people to prepare your meals. If you're one of my younger viewers, um, you know, and you still live at home or something like that, Either you're going to have to get your mom and dad on board and let them know what your goals are. And uh, if you got a little part-time job or whatever, start pitching in on groceries and say, hey, I can't eat the crap that you guys are buying anymore. Uh, I, I, I need to eat this. And uh, here's some money for it. I'll even dish some out. Um, don't use your age as an excuse not to take your fitness seriously and uh, achieve your goals. And if you're 25, 30, 40 years old and you live on your own and you're not grocery shopping and you're eating out every single night, freaking stop it. <laughs> it's not healthy. Take some responsibility. Learn to cook. I'm not a freaking chef or I wasn't. Uh, and you know, my first days in the kitchen were pretty sad, but I figured some stuff out and, um, getting results doing it. So anyhow, guys, I hope that helps. If it does, if you want to hit the like button, that would be huge. I'd appreciate it greatly. If you'd like to leave a comment, feel free. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can leave them in the comment section as well. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I'll encourage you to do so if fitness is something that you are interested in and if you find these videos helpful. So with that being said, guys, Vincent Rose over and out. H2G Fitness, the future is bright. Something good is happening. Hope you guys have an incredible night. Be blessed. Bye.